brothers do not have identical hairlines. Why is that important? I'll tell you why that's important. For men who are younger, in their teen years, in their early 20s, what do they like to ask? What do they like to say out loud when they're talking about predicting whether they're going to go bald? Here's what they say. They say, well, it all comes down to your mother's father. So you, if he's not losing his hair, if he's kept most of his hair, then you're probably going to be all right. They want to, they want to pinpoint it on one person in your family tree and say, if this one person, then I'm going to be okay. But here's the problem with that theory. A very obvious flaw in that concept, in that, in that rationale. Brothers. Now, I don't have a brother, but some of you do. Or you know men who have brothers. And if you'll notice, they don't have identical hairlines. They don't have this, necessarily the same kind of hair. You know, you can have three brothers, all born just a couple years apart. In theory, the oldest one could have the lowest hairline and the thickest hair. The youngest one could be Norwood 5 and just about completely bald. And then the guy in the middle can maybe just be in between and have curly hair where the other ones have straight, however it works out. Brothers do not have identical hairlines. So this concept that we can tag in on one person in our family tree is just ridiculous. It's so simply debunkable. <laughs> it's not about one person in your family tree. Now, I will say hair loss is genetic. You know, there's, and that's another thing that people who are, guys that are younger are always looking for this way. If we can only find out what the cure for hair loss is, or we can figure out what causes it and what prevents it. But see, the thing is, it's genetic. It's genetic. It's genetic, but not through one person. Okay. So this whole concept about your mother's father, that's not how it actually works. Otherwise, every man in the family, if he simply his maternal, what well, his maternal grandfather, as long as he had a good hair, then that means all seven brothers or however many brothers would all have perfect heads of hair. That's what that would mean. But that's not the case. Now, what I do believe, and this is one of my hair loss theories, I do believe for every male that there's someone in his own family tree that he is going to naturally pattern himself after when it comes to hair loss. It could be his father. It could be either of his grandfathers. It could be an uncle. I think very predictably you can match it and you can start seeing that as your hairline starts changing probably. And by your 20s, you can be, you can kind of get an idea for that. And maybe you even have the same kind of hair when I say that wavy, curly, straight, etc., thin, thick, whatever it is, you may be able to figure that out. But see, that's why brothers, let's, let's say three brothers, and they all have different hair loss patterns. Well, check me out here. For each of those three brothers, you probably can find one that matches his maternal grandfather, one his paternal grandfather, one an uncle or his own father. And so, yes, it's genetic, and you can match it back to one person. But to say that it's your mother's father, that's ridiculous because brothers exist and brothers do not have identical hairlines. I am Nick Shell, and all I ever talk about hair loss. Your job, leave a comment telling me what you think about what I just said on this theory that brothers don't have identical hairlines. So stop trying to tag it on your mother's father or whoever you think it is. It's not that predictable but yet there's somebody in your family tree that you're probably going to resemble when it comes to hair loss, but you're probably not gonna figure that out until you're probably in your early 20s is what I'd guess. Because even for me, if I would've guessed in my early 20s, I would've been wrong. I would've actually been bald by now, basically, for all practical purposes. So for me, even now, I'm still trying to figure out exactly who I'm patterning after. I. That might be a different video, actually. Okay, I'll do a different video on that. Comments.